Hello everyone, happy to see you. Welcome back to Eric's Gibberish. In this video, we are going to take a look at the various types of AC and DC power supply sources that you will require at your electronics design and development workstation. This video is a part of a series of videos that I call Essential Tools and Instruments for an Electronics Workstation. Make sure to watch all of them. The links to the videos are given in the description section below. And if you haven't subscribed the channel already, then do so right away so that you get notified as soon as a new video is uploaded. It is but known to each and every electronic system designer that electronics can be very unforgiving when it comes to using an unregulated or unstable power supply. Hence it is essential that the power supply sources you use, especially for the purpose of research, design and development, must adhere to the following. First, have a stable and regulated output voltage. Second, have an adequate current rating or capacity. And third, ideally be free of any electrical noise. So let's begin with the types of AC power supply sources. Wall sockets. Wall sockets have three terminals or connections, live, neutral and earth, most often marked as L, N and E respectively, out of which live and neutral carry the AC supply voltage. Let's measure the wall socket voltage using a multimeter on the AC voltage mode. Note that AC power supplies have no polarity, positive and negative, and hence the probe polarity does not matter. Well, that's pretty much the wall socket voltage available here in India, which is 230 volts AC at 50 Hz. Wall socket voltages and frequencies are not the same everywhere though. As an example, the wall socket voltage in the United States would be 120 volts AC at 60 Hz. Now it's my duty and responsibility here to warn you as a note of caution that these wall socket voltages are very high voltages and may lead to serious injuries if not handled with the proper safety precautions. So be extra careful and cautious when measuring or working with them. Now let's go through the types of DC power supply sources. So we just spoke about the AC power supply sources and noticed that there are very limited options available, which more often than not will be the wall socket AC power supply. DC power supply sources on the other hand come in a wide range of types and sorts like AC to DC regulated power supplies, DC to DC regulated power supplies, batteries, battery packs, etc. Let's take a look at each one of them. Fixed Output Voltage AC to DC Regulated Power Supplies These types of DC power supply sources convert an AC voltage input into a fixed and regulated DC voltage output. Examples of which would be an AC to 24 volts DC power supply like this one, or an AC to 12 volts DC power supply similar to this. In fact, the mobile charger that you use on a daily basis is also an example of such a DC power supply. When measuring the DC output voltage on a multimeter on the DC voltage mode, make sure that the test leads are connected red to positive and black to negative. And in case the probe polarities are reversed, black to positive and red to negative, the multimeter will indicate the same with a negative sign before the voltage reading. As a thumb rule, always check and confirm the polarity of the DC power supply output using a multimeter before connecting it to any circuit. Else, you may cause a permanent damage to both the circuit as well as the power supply in case they are not reverse polarity protected. And as with all types of power supply sources, be it AC or DC, the output wires or terminals should never be shorted or connected to each other when on. Variable Output Voltage AC to DC Regulated Power Supplies These types of DC power supply sources also convert an AC voltage input into a regulated DC voltage output, but the magnitude of this DC output voltage is variable, such as this 5V to 24V DC power supply. It has this voltage adjust screw using which you can vary the DC output voltage from around 5V DC to around 24V DC. Fixed Output Voltage DC to DC Regulated Power Supply Modules This particular module is an example of a DC to DC power supply that has fixed voltage regulated DC outputs of 5V DC as well as 3.3V DC. It takes an input of anywhere between 9V to 12V DC and regulates the outputs using two linear series regulators. 
it has an on off switch too and the outputs are made available on these berg pins. It's a very handy module to experiment on components or circuits that operate on 5 volts DC or on 3.3 volts DC or on both. Batteries Batteries are available in various types, kinds, shapes, sizes and capacities. As examples, the popular 1.5 volts DC AA and AAA batteries or the 9 volts DC rectangular battery. In this particular case, you can use a snap connector with wires similar to this one to connect the battery to a circuit. Battery packs. Battery packs are a very popular technique to produce a higher DC output voltage and or capacity using a number of batteries of lower voltage and or capacity. Like this 9 volts DC battery pack designed for 6 AA size batteries in series. So 6 into 1.5 is equal to 9 volts DC. Or this 12 volts DC battery pack designed for 8 AA size batteries in series. So 8 into 1.5 is equal to 12 volts DC. Both come with a protective lid and a power switch to turn on and off the battery pack. The most noteworthy feature of battery based DC power supply sources is that they are the most electrical noise free source of DC power. But the downfall of using them is that as the batteries are consumed or drained, it causes its DC output voltage to fall or decrease. Hence it is always advisable to use a DC to DC regulator following the battery based DC power supply source. And here's a quick question for you. Have you ever intentionally or unintentionally damaged any circuit or equipment by applying a reverse DC power supply voltage to it? Do leave your answers in the comment section below. Would be interesting to know. So that's all there is for this video. Hope you found it informative and helpful. If yes, then please don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe for notifications to my newest uploads. And if you have any questions or suggestions over this video, then do drop them in the comment section below. And remember, misfortune does not always come to injure. Thanks for watching. I'm Eric. Until my next gibberish, take care.